Today is all about inks. We're going to talk about full set syndrome. Do you need refills, foam versus felt, dye versus pigment, the best black ink, the best embossing ink, my favorite ink, how I store my ink. You get it? Let's get to it. Let's first talk about the pads. There's a felt pad and there's a foam pad. First up, let me show you the foam pad. It's very bouncy, it's springy, it's thick, it's juicy, it's flat all the way across the, the top of it. Uh, you can see the ink sinks all the way down to the bottom of the pad. This pad is old, very juicy as you can see. Now this is a felt pad. Typically you can tell it's felt because it's made of felt. So the edges can fray. The ink doesn't go all the way down towards the bottom. You can see that bit of white there. So that's how you can generally tell if you have a foam or a felt pad. So we've got the foam to the left and the felt to the right. But let's talk about the pros and cons. For the foam pad, the pros are the ink sits on top, so you've got a nice full coverage. The pad is incredibly juicy. You can heat emboss with it because it stays wet a little bit longer, and it's good for solid stamping and sentiment stamping. The cons are it does need refilling a little bit more often. It's not for heavy-handed stampers as the pads are incredibly juicy, and it might take a little bit more time to refill them as the ink sits on top, so you need to spread the refill out a bit. All right, the pros to the felt pads are the ink saturates into the pad, so it's very easy to refill. It's very good for detailed images. It's not as messy because the pads aren't as juicy, and the refills are easier as the ink saturates into the pad, so you don't have to spread it around. The cons are you do have to refill them frequently because they dry out. You might have to ink up your stamp a couple times, give it several taps to get good ink coverage on your stamp. It's a felt pad, so it may fray on the edges, and oftentimes these types of pads do dip in the middle, which could make it difficult to get solid stamping coverage. All right, let's talk about dye ink versus pigment ink. So for the pros for the dye, the ink does soak into the paper. It's opaque, so the ink absorbs into the paper, dyeing the paper. That's why it's called dye ink. It does dry super fast except for Catherine Puller inks. We'll talk about that later. And most are water soluble, which means you can watercolor with them. The cons are the color can intensify or soften as it dries. It's not permanent, so it will react to water and some colors can stain clear stamps. That doesn't bother me, but it might bother you. So I wanted to mention that. All right, let's talk about the pros of the pigment ink. The ink sits on top of the paper as it's translucent, so the color does not change as it dries. It's slow drying, so you can use embossing techniques. Because the pigment is wet, it's easy for ink blending. The cons are it stays wet much longer, so it's very easy to smudge. It does not dry on glossy surfaces, and of course, there's a slower drying time. Do you have full set syndrome? Do you have to buy the full collection of inks. No, no you don't. I am a believer in buy what you like. Buy the colors that you like. I know a lot of companies do offer discounts as a bundle if you if you buy the whole set and that is awesome. Just make sure that the colors that you're getting in the set are colors you're going to use because if you go through and you find that there may be your five or ten ink pads or maybe even 15 that you're not going to use, ink pads are what, about six dollars? you know, pops. Don't fall into the full set syndrome because you could end up swimming in ink pads. Swimming in them, so many. How many could you possibly use? If you're gonna buy it, you gotta use it, in my opinion. So, does that help? I don't know. Should you buy the ink refills? I know we all wanna save money, but the answer is yes. I believe that you should buy the refills with any ink pad that you have. In fact, in the past, I have not purchased specific brands of ink because they did not make ink refills. Ink is like anything else, like paint, anything. It's going to dry over time. I don't care the quality of the ink pad that you're using. It's just going to happen. It is. So when you have the refill, you elongate your ink pad life till like forever or until your refill dries out. But there's also techniques you can do with refills as well. So yes, buy the refills. Buy it when you buy your ink pad. If you're on a budget, add a couple refills in with every order until you accumulate all the refills that you have for your ink pads. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I feel very passionate about this. Can you tell? Just trust me. <laughs> What's the best black ink? I get this email all the time. It is so frustrating when you're stamping something or you're stamping your sentiment and you get that. No. So I'm going to just solve your problems. We're going to take a look at both. I've got some sentiments here. I'm going to mount them on an acrylic block and we're going to stamp with them. So this is the VersaFine Claire. It's a felt pad. 
and it's dye ink. And this is a felt pad as well from Ulta New, but it's pigment ink. And that is Obsidian Pigment Ink from All to New. So I'm going to link to everything I use, as I always do, in the description right, below. So first up is the Nocturne Versifying Claire. Stamps like gold, as does the Obsidian Ink from All to New. That's a pigment ink. The All to New is a pigment ink. The Versifying Claire is a dye ink. The pad sizes are different, so that's a major feature. And also, the Nocturne Ink does have a refill, whereas the All to New Obsidian ink does not. So both are great. If I had to choose one, I'm going to choose the Nocturne ink by Versifying because it has a refill. <laughs> All right, the best embossing ink out there, hands down, without question, is the Wow Embossing Pad. For several reasons, it is a clear, ultra slow embossing pad, which means it stays wet longer, so you don't have to work quite as fast. You don't have to worry about it drying up on you. It has a refill, but it's in a roller ball form, and I love it. So this is how easy it is to refill that pad, but you can also use that refill for techniques as well. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So I've gone ahead and inked up my ink pad just so you could see how to apply the refill there. And then uh, you can ink it up by taking the stamp to the pad or taking the pad to the stamp whatever you're comfortable with. I'm gonna ink this up, stamp down the word congrats. Then I'm gonna grab, what I never do is black embossing powder. It's like the bane of my existence, but I wanna show you that this embossing ink really works. So I sprinkled on the black embossing powder, I'm funneling it back into the jar, and then I'm gonna heat set this. Perfect, every single time. So here I can take the roller ball and just scribble it onto the paper. I can also take the pad and swink it. What, you don't know what swinking is? I'll link it below in the description for you if you want to know. Anyway, so I went ahead and swinked the pad down there, and then I'll just sprinkle on some gold embossing powder and then heat set that too. I get perfect, perfect embossing results every single time I use the Wow embossing pad. I love the refill. I love that it you don't have to move quite as fast. You're not like tripping over your fingers trying to hurry up and grab your embossing powder and all that good stuff. It's just bomb diggity, I'm telling you. My favorite ink and why. I get this asked all the time and it is hands down Catherine Pooler inks, period, the end. They are on a foam pad. They are juicy. They are fun colors. They have different color families. If you like bright, happy, in your face colors, then you'll like the party collection. If you like more subtle colors, then you're gonna like the spa collection. And then she has a line of neutral ink colors as well. I just love these, but I'm gonna show you in this one card why. Why I love these inks so much. Why do I recommend them to anyone who asks? Because they're a multi-use. So you get great coverage. You can see I stamped a outline image of a little corgi in a mug. How cute is that? So that's great for outline images. And also I stamped some solid sentiments. So it works both ways. Now this is a dye ink, which normally you can't heat emboss with, but this you can. It stays wet longer, so I'm able to sprinkle on some embossing powder and heat set it. Boom. That is very, very unique in a dye ink. So I just sprinkled on clear embossing powder to heat set it. It's gonna lock everything in. These inks are great for blending. All right, you can go in, they're nice, they're juicy, so you can go in and with whatever blending tool that floats your boat. There's so many out there. There's daubers, there's makeup brushes, there's all, or, what's that word, ergonomically, I can never say that. Uh, great for those if you have like arthritis or something. But these are great for blending, which is also a little unique in a dye ink because dye inks don't stay wet long. So makes it hard for blending, but not these. I do want to take a minute and thank my sponsor for today's video, Skillshare. You know me, you know I love it. It's a wonderful online platform full of anything you could possibly imagine. It's under 10 bucks a month, but I do have a free coupon below. It is in the description. Be sure to click it. It's a platform full of magic because there's everything there. All right, so back to the inks. Another reason why I like them is they are water reactive. So I'm, I am able to do my little fun water droplets here. I just flicked it on. I kept this in real time. I flicked the water on to the inked background. I let it sit for, what, 10 seconds, and then I'll dab it away. Now, because I heat embossed the uh, corgi mugs and the sentiment, those, didn't, those weren't affected, which is, you know, hey. So in a nutshell, I like these inks because of their multi-use. They're foam pads, I love the colors. They blend, they're water reactive, you can heat emboss with them. They have refills, I mean, this is everything I'm looking for in an ink pad, so why would I look anywhere else? 
I'm not. I get asked all the time how I store my inks. This is how I store them. I store them face up. Uh, these are oval shaped so you can stack them, which is another thing I like about these particular inks. I like the shape of the case, but I store them in this unit by Organize More. Not everyone has the wall space. These also have felt feet so you can store them on a, on a surface if you want to. I store them by color, not necessarily by color family or anything like that. I just store them how they visually appeal to me as far as the colors. And I love this system. It works for me. Boom. Did I address all the questions that you have? I hope I did. If I didn't, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to elaborate on this. I do get a lot of questions about the Distress Oxides and that warrants another video in itself. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.